This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to use if else if else structure and switch structure to write a program. The problem we want to solve here is writing the following program. The program will first ask the user to enter a test score from 0 to 100, then based on the user's input, print out the corresponding letter grade. For example, if the user enters uh, 95, then the program should print out the grade is A. Okay, now I already write down the pseudocode of the program. So, pseudocode basically say uh, list out uh, the program uh, structure outline in English. So, we first will declare variables, then ask a user to enter a score, then we will get a user's input, then based on user's input, print out corresponding grade. I suggest all the students get this habit from beginning. You write down the uh, pseudocode of your program, then give yourself a hint what you want to write. So you will have clear idea what you're going to write. Okay. So for example, here we say declare variables. I need to declare two variables. One is an integer type to hold the user's input as score. Another is a scanner object that can read input from the keyboard. So I will say, for example, integer score. Then I will have a scanner. For example, you call it input equal new scanner system data in. Now, of course, the scanner class belongs to Java data UTL. Uh, package so we should import java.util.scanner uh, class. Then I ask a user to enter a score so I will say system.out.println uh, just a print I don't want to go new line into a score so from 0 to 100 inclusive In our ex uh, program, we will not handle uh, the exception, such as the user did not really type in an integer or type an integer out of the range. We assume the user who use the program will follow the instruction. You tell him or her to enter a score between 0 and 100 inclusive, then the user will do so. So then we get user's input. So we say score equal input, which is scan object dot next int. This next int is a method in scanner class which read next integer from the keyboard. Now, based on user's input print out a corresponding grade, we have two ways to do this actually for this program. First, it's very natural to use if, else, if, else, if, else structure. However, you need to pay attention to the logic. Now, I try to write down something wrong in purpose, but please uh, find out my mistake. For example, I say if uh, the score uh, score is less than sixty, then I print out dot out dot print ln the grade is f. Else, if score uh, is greater than or equal to 60 system dot out dot print ln the grade is D and else if the score is greater than equal to 70 system dot out dot print ln the grade is C. Now, if you print, uh, you do like this, some students might already realize this is a, there is a logical mistake. For example, if your score is 90, what happened? First check the condition, score less than 60, false. So he will skip the first statement, then check the second condition, score greater than or equal to 60, since score is 90, it's true. Then he will print out the grade is D and skip all the rest. 
So this is not correct. Okay. In order to make it correct, you make sure your if else if else if those conditions you arrange well. So make the logic uh, contradiction here. Uh, or the logic uh, error here. So for our case, you can say if score is less than or equal to 60, then you print out F, or if the score is less than or equal to, uh, less than 70, you will print out a D, or else if the score is less than 80, you will print out a C, Else, if score is less than 90, you will print out the grade is B. Else, you will print out the grade is A. Now, let us say here, the if, else, if, else, if, else, if, else structure works like this. It will first check the first condition. If the first condition is true, execute this first statement and skip all the rest. If the first condition is false, it will skip the first statement, then uh, examine, check the second condition. If second condition is true, well, execute the second statement and skip all the rest. Otherwise, well, skip the second condition, then go to check the third condition, and go on. Now, pay attention here. If score less than 60 is false, which means your score is greater than or equal to 60, then you check the condition score less than 70. If it's true, means your score is greater than or equal to 60 and less than 70. So the greater is D. That's correct. Now, if the first two are false, which means your score is greater than or equal to 70, and if you check the third condition is true, which means score also less than 80, that means score is greater than or equal to 70 and less than 80, then, of course, the greater is C. Okay. Now, notice the last else part. Else part means all above conditions are not true. That's fall into else. That means your score is greater than or equal to 90. Of course, that's A. Now, uh, let's compile this program. We have a little syntax error. Then we get a couple run to check the program. Uh, the program, if you run it, let's say enter a score. For example, if I enter 78, it's supposed to print out the grade is C. Yeah, we did it correctly. Okay. Now, I would like to point out a couple places that the student easy to make a mistake. First. Some students like to add a semicolon after all those uh, place, uh, the conditions. This is not correct. If you try to compile, you will get an error message. For example, here he said, this else without if. Why? Because this semicolon, which means your if, if branch is this part. This is some actual statement inserted between your if and else. Of course, you will have syntax error. Other than logic error, they actually have syntax error. Okay, now so we don't have semicolon here. Also, the else part do not have condition. Else part do not have condition. Some students like to put else part like put a condition. Oh, in this case, the score is greater than or equal to ninety. If you do that, you will have compile error. Okay, you say this is not a statement. So. Else part of their low condition. Okay, uh, if you recall, the textbook says every switch statement can be rewrite in if else if else uh, statement. However, not every if else if else if else structure can be rewriting in switch statement. However, for this particular problem, we if we want to, we can use a switch statement. The a uh, very nice thing is that you can switch all the scores since the score only have 101 cases from 0 to 100. So you can like say case 100, case 90, case 98, uh, 91, up to case 99, then you print out the grade is A. If the case 80, case 81, case 82, up to case 89, you 
print out the grade is B. However, if you do so, you have 101 cases. That is really not a clever way to write code. So then how should we write it? Let me first command away this portion. We use some trick. So this time I switch score divided by 10. Now notice score is an integer. Integer divided by integer in Java, the result is an integer. For example, if your score is 95 divided by 10, mathematically it's equal 9.5. But in Java, integer 95 divided by integer 10, the result is 9. It only takes an integer part. So in this case, we immediately say if your score divided by 10, then you only have about 11 case, right? Uh, if your score is between 0 and 9, the result is uh, 0. Then yeah, uh, if your score well, from 90 to 99, the result is 9. Your score is 100, the result is 10. So you totally only have 11 case. So we can say switch uh, score divided by 10, case 10, which your original score is 100, case 9, your original score is between 90 uh, under 99. Then you will print out system dot out dot print ln. The grade is A. Then break. Now, then case 8, which means your score is from 80 to 89. System dot out dot print ln. The grade is B. Then break. Case seven. System dot out dot print ln. The grade is C. Then break. Case six. I will have system dot out dot print ln. The grade is D. Now, for the rest of the case, I use default. I did a break here. Then default system dot out dot print ln. The grade is F. The default means any other cases. Of course, we assume the user will only input the grade between 0 and 100 inclusive. So or any other cases, which means your score is between 0 and 59, okay? So, uh, if we run the program, no uh, compiled, no syntax error, then if we, uh, let's clear the terminal order uh, information, then if I run the program, for example, I put a in, uh, score is 75, then the grade is C. It seems like OK. Now, I would like to point out several mistakes uh, students like to make when they write a switch statement. First, if you have two cases, you have case 10, case 9 here, you use uh, each case, you have a column here. OK? It doesn't matter you divide them in two lines or the same line. For example, you do this, the code still works perfectly. OK? But, to make it look nice, we write in two lines. Uh, second, many students like to switch, uh, skip this break. Now, if you uh, skip this break, what happened? Here is how the switch work. He will uh, use switch this value. Now, then try to find a match of these labels, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, if line of the match go to the default. Try to match one of this label. Uh, after he found a match, he will begin to execute the code under this label until it meets the break. Now, if you miss this break, then if your score is 95, for example, 95 divided by 10 is 9, then match the case 9, then he will print out the grade is A, but he did not see the break, then he will continue to execute the next statement to print out the grade is B. Let us try for here with 
uh, command away the break. That means we missed the break. You notice the low syntax error. Now, when we write the uh, run the program, let me clear here first. Don't confuse. So I go here, uh, right click the yellow box, uh, run the main function. Suppose I enter the score is 97. Then he will print out the greater is A, the greater is B. Why he print out twice, two statements? This is because we missed the break here. So make sure there is no missing of the break. You have break, give me a break, basically. Okay, uh, I hope this uh, example show you how to use if else, if else, if else structure and switch statement. If you have any questions, please send me email. See you next time.